This is going to work. Salute to those that have hung around the chat box. Salute, salute to those that are uh, tuning into the draft show. Those of you that um, that came back to hear me for a whole nother hour. I appreciate y'all. I know who my real supporters are. You know what I mean? But what I wanted to do was last time I was on the show doing live cowboy talk. Like flat, flat cowboy talk, right? Um, it was with the round table gentlemen, my, uh, my, uh, bros in the ring. Is it rain outside? Okay. Um, with my bros in the round table, we did that. Plus, uh, the one before that, it was me and Fusty King. So when we do these things and I have guests on the show, I don't have an opportunity to let calls fly. You know what I mean? So what we're doing here i hope i got phones lit in the title of this thing so when we're here and it's just me and y'all i want to talk to y'all i want to hear what y'all got to say so i'm going to react to the news because i did it in a very limited capacity because i had to let three other people talk i'm going to react to the news and give my full-blown analysis on everything and then i'm going to um let y'all kind of get y'all's off you know what i mean so if y'all want to call into the show the number is 515-606-5187 access code 309-104 let's get started man let's rewind just a little bit get that off the screen there let me rewind just a little bit um so we signed two defensive tackles we got both their asses from the same team, the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers wasn't that great in run defense. <laughs> Thoughts. Well, I think the Panthers were bad in run defense for a, a couple reasons. I think they often stalled a lot. I think when Ron Rivera got fired, I think things got weird. I think people quit a lot. I think a lot of things that was happening in their – secondary and the intermediate level they linebacker play it kind of got weird a little bit wasn't nobody really running up the middle that's a big thing there it wasn't a whole bunch of running up the middle they did their thing capturing edges they blocked the smaller guys they did what they had to do on that front but nobody was running up the middle so cowboy land how are we differentiating cowboy land from what they do well we have defensive ends that can stop the run that'll be d law that'll be tyron crawford when he comes back we have defensive ends that can stop the run we put our big buzz saw of fat children and greasy tater chip fingers in the middle gerald and Dontari and whoever the hell is going to rotate in the middle but we got two linebackers that can flat out run on top of having defensive ends that can capture the edge and play run defense for you as well. You see what I mean? So I do think that it's going to be a difference in that way. We're only taking a piece of what the Panthers did on defense. We're only taking a piece of it and applying it to what we do. But those two players ain't going to be the whole deal. Now, I know um, most of y'all have watched my video or my videos, the one that I did on Dontari and the one I did, I did two on Dontari, and the one I did on Gerald McCoy. So shouts out to y'all for being informed there. <clears throat> but I did two videos, and I don't think Dontari and Gerald McCoy are long-term solutions. I don't think so. But I think Dontari is better than Antoine Woods, and we keep Antoine. Plus, I think Gerald McCoy is better than Malik Collins. I think that means something. You know what I'm saying? So we improved, but we still need to look for the future at some point. Do one on K1 short? No! Unless he come to Dallas. I'm not going to do one on K1 short. But um, we absolutely improved. Absolutely improved. Um. Robert Quinn wasn't the greatest run defender in the world. So the fact that we had him and teams used to just kind of run at him and Tyron Crawford is going to, is, is going to come back teams can, I mean, Cowboy fans can hate him or love him, but Tyron Crawford is going to come back. And he's going to be very useful in the run game at their right defensive end spot. We improve. Imagine like we didn't have Tyron Crawford last year. So Tyron Crawford is an additional player 
that we add to our defensive repertoire this season. And y'all know D Law was like like the, the the third ranked defensive end or something like that in terms of run stopping. So I think we're gonna be good, man. I think we're gonna be good. Um what else, man? So much stuff happened, man. Um hysterical Clint Dick signed. I think he's better than what we had in Jeff Heath or whatever, but he's gonna be playing mostly free safety. I think he's gonna be playing free safety. So I think he's a better free safety than Xavier Woods would be. Pardon me, let me clean that up. He's a better free safety and what and what we had in in Xavier Woods. And Xavier Woods is going to be in competition with Donovan Wilson for the strong safety spot. That's where I think the real talk is going to happen. That's LOL Clint Dix. That's where I think the real competition is. Don't be surprised if Donovan Wilson come in and take uh and take your boy's spot. Xavier Woods' the spot. You know, we love to get our players, our complimentary players, and they start for us and they look good and we hold on to them. We hold on to him. Laugh my ass off, Clint Dix. We hold on to him. I wouldn't be surprised if Donovan Wilson comes in, makes way more plays than Xavier Woods, and end up getting starting time. I wouldn't be surprised. Pull up there and say Donovan Wilson ain't done nothing. That's the beauty of it. Xavier Woods technically ain't done nothing either, but start games for you. So that kind of even that kind of evens them out there. But every time you play somebody new. They ain't never done nothing. Um, Connor McGovern is going to be our new center. He ain't never done nothing. And I know it's going to be some people saying, well, if I should we draft a center? No, we did that last year. Because if you draft a center this year, they ain't never done nothing. You see what I'm saying? So it's always going to be a conversation to be had in terms of brand new players that we get. But that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. You see what I mean? So, who else ain't never done that? Hell, if we draft C.D. Lamb at 17, his ass ain't never done nothing neither. All our draft picks ain't never done nothing. So, I really don't want to hear such and such and such and such ain't done nothing. Because there's this word that we use in this land called projection. It's called projection. And we're projecting things to happen. I'm projecting Donovan Wilson is going to come in and have a really good offseason. I'm projecting whoever our new slot receiver is going to be is going to be, be you know is 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 going to be better than they were last year. Whoever whoever the hell end up playing, whoever's going to end up playing slot, I think they're going to be improved from where they were last year. We wouldn't know, but we are projecting. You see what I mean? Adrian Lindsay drop 5 of the super chat. This is where preseason is important. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're going to get to evaluate these people. Uh, but since we're on the topic, Segway Jones, let's get into the Travis Frederick conversation then. I wanted to do this then. I wanted to talk about this. I, I did a video up on this. I put a video up on this. Um, I put a video of this up on my channel as well. Less people watched it than the Dontari video. Y'all can absolutely go watch it. But I kind of lay out all these scenarios. And we're talking about Donovan Early. I'm talking about. Tristan last year, I'm talking about Connor McGovern last year, even Tony Pollard to an extent. We have to understand how important it is that we drafted these guys last year to be available for this year. We love to talk shit about the Cowboys, man, but they really covered they ass this year. Because me as draft guy, I'll tell you what, me as draft guy, Connor McGovern is better than any interior offensive lineman you can get this season in this draft. I said that. On my show, I said that shit. He's better than any interior offensive lineman that you can have this year. If you drafted a guy like Cushenberry from um, Lloyd Cushenberry from LSU, my bad, damn, brain fart, um, uh, badass from Wisconsin, uh, Matt Hennessy ain't good from, from Temple. I've been seeing people say his name. Uh, Matt Hennessy ain't good at all. Um, even 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 um, Ruiz from Michigan. I think if, they, if Connor McGovern was in this year's draft, Connor McGovern would be better than them. Connor McGovern would be better than all of them. I was looking at Conor McGovern last year like, yo, that's a second-round guard right there. 
that's a second round guard right there in Connor McGovern. And he and he played 14 games at uh his sophomore year at Penn State. Cowboys did fantastic. They did a fantastic job. So, um, do I do I feel great about what we're doing at center? Sure, because if Connor McGovern somehow can't play, then we still got Joe Luna, who we know is serviceable at center, and then we'll just figure this thing out later. But um let me just kind of say this and clear this up too. Like, we gonna miss Travis. Travis is fantastic. He's top tier. He was elite. He was a pro bowler, one of the better centers in the class. But we're not going to be shit out of luck. We're not going to be shit out of luck. You see what I mean? That's all I got to say there. Um, plus, I mean, hey, you know, there can also be some movement to where Conor McGovern can play some guard for you if you want to do some. If if you want to start Joe Looney. And something happened at tackle, and Connor Williams got to play, uh, got to play left tackle or something. You could put Connor McGovern right back at left guard where he started, or or or, or right guard wherever you want to put him. Put Joe Looney at center, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Who the hell is our swing tackle? Brandon Knight. He did it last year. Stepped into the uh, Green Bay game, and he did he did damn good. He did damn good. So hey, it is what it is. Uh. What about Smith and his inability to play a full season? Hey, man, he may, what, miss like three games? His ass fantastic for them other 13, though. <laughs> Ain't he good for them other 13? Ain't he great? Ain't he fantastic them other 13 games? Mm -mm. I think we'll be fine, man. I think we'll be fine. I think it's easy to overreact, but I think the Cowboys did a fantastic job of uh, covering their asses here. Uh, Pull Up then says, Cushionberry is really good, though. I agree. I love Cushionberry. But you know who else was really good? Connor McGovern and freaking Penn State was really good. <laughs> he was really good. You know what I mean? Um, I consider, I, and I'm not just saying this, I'm a Cowboy fan, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I was on board with Connor McGovern last year. I hate that he missed time. Um, Connor McGovern's fantastic, man. Connor McGovern's fantastic. I don't want y'all to lose sleep over over the center position. I don't want y'all to lose no rest over that because uh, we're going to be good. We're going to be good. What else? Uh, Jay Colbreth dropped five in the Super Chat. He says, Poe and McCoy beefed up the interior four upgrades. Pardon me. Poe and, uh, po and McCoy beefed up our interior Four upgrades, right in, pass rusher, and cornerback will be on our radar. Chase on or Henderson, Zach Bond will be a sleeper. Appreciate you for the super chat, sir. I'm trying to get CD Lamb. Just like that. Just like that. If Andrew Thomas was at 17, would you take him? It depends on who else is on the board. If y'all want to call into the show, the number's on the screen. I think it's on the screen. Yeah, it's on the screen. 515-606-5187, access code 309-104. I had to get my soliloquy out the way first. I had to get my individual soliloquy thoughts out the way first. But now I'm taking y'all's call, so everything is open for y'all. All right, cool. Yeah, let me cut my volume up so when y'all call, it'd be it, it be good to go. Go ahead. Um, also, what else I was about to say, too? I was going to say something. Uh, I'm not going to say nothing about Dak's contract because I'm tired of talking about Dak's contract. If you get $35 million, he's the highest-paid quarterback in the league, fine. Good for Dak. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> he deserves it. Um, Andrew Thomas is a right tackle. Andrew Thomas is also a left tackle. He's both tackles, but I feel you. Uh, do we have the numbers on Dontari Poe's situation? How long and how, I mean, how long and how much money is that going to be for? Please. Can somebody let me know? Can somebody let me know? Offense or defense in the first round? CD Lamb. Big facts. Set it off, Chris. What's up, man? Man, what's going on, Botch, man? How's your day going, bro? Everything's everything. We holding it down for the Doski, Wolski, the Peaski, Whiskey. Uh, drinking my water, oh, yeah. drinking my water and locking my door. You know what I mean? <laughs> Got to keep it locked. Got to keep it locked. Yo, man, great shows this week, man. Especially you and Foots in the round table was really, really good. Enjoyed it. Sounded working, like a man. daggum Charlie McCarthy doll was the doll they had back in the day as a, as a mannequin. Just putting the word out, man. Well, folks get out there looking at looking at uh, the, the videos. But can you put back the? Uh, you remember you did at the end of 2018 the, the 58 sack that Dak took that year, sure. And how it and how it and showed how 
how how how not how poorly, but how limited Joe Looney was as a center. Sure. And you know, cowboy you know cowboy fans are jumping up. Oh, Joe Looney can just step in. No, like you said. Hey, by getting Conor McGovern when we got him in the third round, you you cut out a lot of stuff. You didn't have to go back and sign. Uh, you didn't have to go back and sign um, number ten. Dang, the, the one who always stayed hurt, who had Daniel ran a touchdown with, with half a groin in the playoff game. Uh, hey, come. Uh, I can't even remember the cat's name, man. But anyway, that's how that's how nonchalant is. But you put Tony Pollard back there now as your punt returner, kick returner. You don't have to worry about that. I like the mindset you have with uh, Donovan Wilson, though. Sure. And but that kind of takes away my 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 love of going to get Brad Delphid, which a lot of people are mock or uh, drop dropping down because if you if you're going to take hilarious hilarious Clinton Dix <laughs> and move him to free, that means I don't get to go get Brad Delphid to play free. Well, see, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm just saying. Go ahead, give it to me. See, this the this the this the uh, thing about rolling on the floor, laughing my ass off, Clinton Dix. He 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 he's he's only one year four million. So that's not stopping you from right. getting from getting Grand Delpit. You can still draft Grand Delpit, groom him, bring him in, let him, you know what I'm saying, do rookie things and then uh whenever right. it's time for, you know, Clint Dix to be gone bye bye, then you still got your man. Okay, you just yeah, you slide slide him in. Yeah, I do like that too. But I also like some of the other names that we aren't talking about. We're not talking about the Jalen Jelks. We're not talking about Joe Jackson. You know, we're not talking about Luke Gifford. These are guys that were from last year that sure. you had that you can start plugging in. I, I'm all on board with getting a wide receiver 17. If I can get C.D. Lamb, boom, I'll take him at 17. If I can get Jalen Rager at 17, I'm taking him. I believe you have to go along the mindset and the model of trying to go score 40 <laughs> every game. And you and know have what? enough defense. The the only reason I'm really first of all, City Lamb is fantastic, but the Cowboys, Absolutely. but we but we looked at the one tech position and addressed it, the three tech position. Right. We looked at you know Absolutely. what I'm saying, safety and all that. So we shoring up all these spots. We got our um, depth back at linebacker. So we really right. we good. <laughs> we good because I, I think in linebacker, which you the, the one the one area we kind of struggled with. with uh, being able to cover the tight end and cover the running back out the backfield, I think Gifford is a better cover guy in some areas. And then you know when you know when the Wolf Hunter gets back or when he gets back, mm-hmm. you know he's very good in coverage. So I think that helps a lot too. And you got Luke Gifford. So when Sean Lee says out, you can put him or Joe Thomas. Sure. It, it, I, I think they covered a lot of stuff. Where everybody's kind of jumping up and down about the cornerback position. Sure. I, I, you know, I want to give Lindquist a chance to teach technique. You know, say, hey, how about going for the ball instead of playing the hands? I think that's going to help out a lot in that area, too. I tell you what, man. I tell you what, man. Every time we looked at Cheeto, we always said, damn, that's some good coverage. Turn around, though. Turn around. Turn your head. Turn around, though. We always say that. And and when he he was coming out of Colorado a couple years back, he was known as a guy who would go after the ball. He was the kind of safety guy. So he was that kind of guy. So – I, I think they did cover a lot of stuff, but that offensive line thing. I think the one thing, and you said it earlier about Brandon Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, we got to remember, uh, Connor, Connor Williams is coming off ACL tear, so you're gonna have him. He's gonna, you know, he's gonna get back. But I think he didn't do that until like week what, ten, eleven. He he tore his ACL. Sure, sure. Right. So you're looking at about a year out. So you're gonna have Brandon Knight. You can put Connor. You can put. Conor Montgomery Center, play Joe Looney at guard because he is better at guard because he does not get to the second level. And that just comes from the outstanding film study and stuff that you showed about him not being able to get to the second level. And that just shows just how an amazing back Zeke is to turn around and, and, and get so many yards without having a guy who can reach that second level. Right. And even with, you know, the great Travis Frederick Lincoln, him not being who he was, that even just showed a lot of times where Zeke was getting hit early, people like he didn't have bursts. No, he's getting hit, and he's still able to go forward and still go get 1,300 yards. I think they, they covered a lot of stuff. So I, I like everything they did. I'm loving everything they're doing. It's just now it's just the, the additional guys that they end up getting. You know, the Chris, the Chris Rester Street, how, how's he looking? You know, I mean, all these other guys that we, that we say, oh, they ain't never did nothing. I think that's the one thing that we as Cowboys fans, we always want to go get a name. 
But getting those two guys in the middle, getting Poe, who we should have got a couple years back, you got McCoy, you should have turned around and got McCoy last year. I really think that the, the – and, and the other part that we've got that's the biggest addition to our team mm-hmm. is the new coaching staff. Sure. The new coaching staff yeah. is the biggest addition that we have added in the offseason. You've got new eyes on, on, the, on the tools. You've got new eyes on the guys. And now nobody gets to rest on their laurels. And that is the biggest addition in this offseason, man. I'm going to just sit back, man, and listen to the rest of the show, man. Outstanding content as always, man. Oh, I, you know, you, you say, you know, you said I'm doing the round table, man. You got to look at other stuff, man. But I don't really like listening to the rest of these fools out here, man. Damn. I hate listening to cities, man. I hate these dudes, man. I Damn. really do, man. And, and I wish that the rest of the nation, man, the rest of the Cowboy Nation would sit up and quit listen to these clowns Damn. on TV, man, who just want to argue and don't really know this football team, man. Who don't really dive in and know this team, man, but get on here and say, oh, I'm a Cowboys fan. You're not a Cowboys fan if you can't tell me two or three guys who are on this dag on practice. Well, you, ain't, you ain't bought in and sold out for this team like that, boy. You ain't sold out, man. You can't see you, boy, man. You, you can't you can't say you can't sit up here and say you bob the Cowboys, man. When you can't sit up and say year after year after year that Ray Dakota Prescott has not gotten better. You can't be a real Cowboys fan. You say Zeke was fat with how excellent, outstanding he is. You know, I hear some some of oh, we gonna hate Zeke's contract in a couple of years. Let me explain something to you, man. <laughs> Zeke Elliott, by far, man, at the fourth pick, man. Every other guy they they draft in those different spots, man. Mm. You know, you got four men. You know, he hasn't been that guy. Saquon was okay. Man, Zeke Elliott mm. has been just a staple in this thing. And for the life of me, I can't understand why Rain Dakota Prescott has got to win a Super Bowl by his dad himself. Mm. But everybody else get to get pieces. Jerry Goff get to get girly and five damn receivers. Daggum Drew Brees get to get Kamara and Daggum three, four different receivers. Uh. Daggum Aaron Rodgers get to get everybody. But I, my quarterback. He can't get no pieces. No. He got to go out there with a, a damn gun, bubble gum wrap and a, and a pea shooter and win the whole damn thing. I'm so tired of this, man. Uh. Pay that young man. Pay that young man. Four uh. years. For four years of damn near free labor. And, uh. and the whole world talking about, hey, he will deserve his bread. Man, let that dude get his $35 million. In two years, in two years, they'll be trusted going to end up getting their money. Because I'm going to guarantee you, y'all going to look at Deshaun Watson a whole world different. Uh. At the end of this year, you 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 go you go peek you go peek down the road you go peek down the road and look at Tom Ball. You know that's if y'all can go with Tech where Houston is. Tom Ball is a suburb. You look down at Springs, that's a suburb of Houston. You go look down there and you go look at Deshaun Watson just a tad bit different. Just a tad bit, bro. Russell Wilson ain't way, Russell dog. Wilson ain't won a Super Bowl since the boom left. Hey, look, set it off. Look, Chris, CJ, look, Chris, Chris, CJ in the chat box saying, we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock can't <laughs> land on us. <laughs> Great call, man. Hey, man. Man, love y'all, man. We'll talk later, man. Great call, man. I love when people pay attention to my film session and bring that shit up five months later. I love that shit. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Let me t- let me just address this, man. Hold on, man. Wait, let me scroll back, man. I, I saw Drummer Cam up here. Drummer Cam, he said, what's happening? If I just throwing something into your munchies fun. Hey! I love the film sessions. Uh, Zach look real mental and someone you can really build around player like. Who is Zach? Zach who? Who we got? Oh, Zach Bond. Zach Bond. Yes, Zach Bond. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, Zach Bond is fantastic. Um, um, and you can build you can build peace around him like Dontari Poe. Cool. Looking forward to your new defense. Hey, appreciate it, drummer cam. Also, hold on. We got uh Jonas dropping the Danish crones up in here. He says, uh, a vash. Do you have a chance to watch Jeremy Chin, a poor man's Isaiah Simmons? Keep up the good work. Stay safe from Denmark. I took a look at Jeremy Chin. Um, super athlete, dude. Super athlete, dude. I may do a uh, film session on him. I don't think he Isaiah though, but um, you know, he is an athletic safety. We may uh, we may uh, take a look at him though. We may take a look at him. Let me tell y'all something. 
Y'all know the one thing that I do like about Conor McGovern that y'all gonna like about Conor McGovern too that we probably haven't talked about in a while and the pundits ain't gonna talk about neither. Let me like whisper it too. Like, like, cause I don't want to, cause I don't want to start no trouble. Everybody push your headphones close to your ear as I say this. Hey, <clears throat> Antoine Woods ain't going to be punching Conor McGovern in the face because Conor McGovern will smack the shit out of Antoine Woods and, and, and start all the trouble. Oh, uh, Conor McGovern starts all the trouble. Conor McGovern will start all the trouble. Okay. Um, another thing about Conor McGovern, you know, y'all, you know, we, Love Joe Looney and Joe Looney's fantastic. But when we got to the playoffs um, and we went against Indomitian and Sue, I think that was the first time we had a true one tech, three tech combo. Uh, some teams we either have really good one techs or really good three techs. I think when we ran into the Rams, they had a really good both. Um, what happens is when Aaron Donald is doing Aaron Donald things and Connor Williams did pretty pretty good up against him, uh, and Dominic and Sue picked up. Joe Looney and moved him from point A to point B beyond his free will. And Joe Looney looked like a little baby versus Endomic and Sue. You're not going to get that in Connor McGovern. Connor McGovern is not easily moved at all. He may not be as athletic as Travis Frederick. That's something we're going to have to work on in terms of like the movement and things like that. He's not as athletic as Travis. Connor McGovern is going to move bodies. You understand? He is going to move bodies. So that's something we should look forward to just as a new a new type of, uh, you know, just a new type of deal there. Chin is a linebacker. Chin is a safety linebacker hybrid type of dude. He He's probably going to end up playing both. Um, Isaiah is another guy like that. Who's another guy like that this year that could – I think Troy Dye. Troy Dye from Oregon is another guy that plays linebacker that's that's probably going to be doing some both type of things. So, um, that's just some film stuff. Mr. Wright, Big Tweezy. Twan says uh, he dropped five in the Super Chat. He says, Zeke the effing man all day. Zeke is very fantastic. I agree. I agree. And Sports Guru dropped five in the Super Chat as well. He's just doing it for the love off the strength. Appreciate you, sir. Let's get back to the phone so we can see what y'all are talking about. Um, Charlie, what's happening, man? What's going on, man? Talk to talk talk to us, Uncle man, Charlie. Man, how you doing tonight, man? I'm good, Uncle Charlie. What's that? How about you? Look, look here, man. Look, look, look here, man. I looked up there the other night. I missed the round table, man. I said I missed the man. I said I missed another show like Damn. the Temptations. I couldn't believe it, man. Damn. Look here. I like the parts we got on defensive tackle, right. but we, we, we like a car right now, you know. We're just getting the parts put on there, right. and by the time we put that motor in there, we should be ready to go. Now, for us, Tristan Hill, okay. I just want to say this about him. Right. The young man is a great talent, sure. but he's a little bit lazy, man. You know, if he can just right. stay off them biscuits and them donuts, he'll biscuits. be all right. Biscuits. He'll be all right. Every time you look around, he pulled off in Crystal Creams. Damn. You can't do that, bro. This time, he's going to have to get out there and start playing or the coach going to throw him up out of there, or he'll get a trade for it. Right. I just want to know from you, what do you think we need to do at this point on defense? That's my first question. Sure. My second comment is, is that Jerry Jones, I want to send this to Jerry Jones. Okay. Jerry Jones, quit playing with that money. Uh, right. Go ahead and pay that money, man. What you want him to do? Go in between the raindrops and get the money? Right. Get that man his money. Yeah. And I want to hear what you got to say about what we need on defense and what we need on offense. Um, as far as what we need on uh, defense, I think we're good on defensive ends that are going to play versus the run, but I would like to have another end that can get us some, some pass rush maybe. I know Randy Gregor is going to help with that, but uh, I would like a guy that we know for sure that can get us some pass rush at least until Randy get his feet back because Randy been sitting out for a while. Even though when Randy comes back, he'll be the most talented pass rush on our team, um, and Randy is the guy that can roll off the couch and be a fantastic pass rusher. Just – Bring some guys around him while he's getting in shape, while he's getting back into the groove of things, while he's getting that first step back. Have some guys that can go out and get sacks, uh, you know, while you know while Randy's getting his getting his feet back on him or whatnot. And in terms of um, offense, 
I'm only really looking at like receivers, like who's going to be our slot receiver guy. Uh, we got some guys that can do some gadget type things. We got some deep speed guys like Devin Smith. We got uh John V. Johnson. He was a, uh, he was a pick from us last year. He was undrafted from us last year. Jalen guy is another guy that can run, but you know, who's, who's the nuanced route runner guy that's going to come in and take Randall Cobb spot. I think we're going to end up drafting that guy. So, um, so yeah, pass rusher and and hell, we can get a pass rusher at three tech two. Shit, it don't matter. Uh, pass rusher and um, nickel receiver, slot receiver. So on your first, on your first, now if you was the coach, right? If you was the coach right now, oh, who Uncle Charlie, would you we gonna win the Super Bowl in the first round? We gonna win the Super Bowl if I'm the coach, Uncle Charlie. You already know. Already, but see, I already know that they don't know that. Yeah, they don't know. See, they don't know that. Right. Who is your first round pick? Oklahoma got a wide receiver named C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb, yes, C.D. Lamb is going to develop and turn into DeAndre Hopkins, um, but I think he could possibly he could possibly be a little better. Um, he's the best fifty uh, fifty ball catcher um, in college last year. He's the best yak guy, so he can come in and play slot for you. He can play outside for you. He's going to be a rookie. You, he's going to be on a five-year contract. Cooper only got three years guaranteed. Gallup got like two more years on his. So if you draft C.D. Lamb, play him at uh, – uh, play him in the slot. You could put Coop in the slot. Play, uh, play him on the outside. And when all these guys are gone, C.D. Lamb can show up and be the number one receiver for you. And I think in five years he could be the best receiver in the league. That's just my thoughts. And I like that. And I want to ask you one other question, boss. I want to know about this marijuana policy. It can these guys get suspended for marijuana? They can't get suspended for testing positive for marijuana. They cannot get suspended for testing positive. Uh, but I think they're still going to have a testing period. But I think what they're going to do is they're going to put people in a program, in a little protocol where they still got to do their little meetings and still got to, you know, do their, you know what I'm saying, community service and all that. So they're not going to make people miss games. It's, it's going to be a lot more lenient, but they're still going to check for it. So my man, uh, my man, Randy Gregory, he can smoke all the weed he wants. Yes, he can smoke weed technically, and he won't miss games, but he'll be in the little protocol where he got to, you know, do his little classes and all that, do his, do his little online class. But, yes, theoretically, well, can, he can smoke weed all he wants. Well, yeah. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you all the weed houses will be open. They'll be waiting. <laughs> and before you get there, before you go to the weed house, make sure you do what you got to do before the game starts because we're going to need you. i like to say thank you, Vosh. i like to say, man, you're doing a tremendous job. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. And like I said, be safe out here because, you know, my son sneezed last night and I went in the room and locked myself in for 24 hours. So I want you to be careful okay, out here and look. don't let nobody come to your door without spraying it down. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. I understand. Uncle Charlie, let me ask something for you later. What's been making you mad, man? Because you're mad about something every time you call in. What's been making you mad, well, later, man, Uncle Charlie? Man. What was making me mad? What really got me really hot and got me crawling up the wall like a cockroach? Okay, is Jerry Jones. Okay, Jerry Jones paid that kid money. The man been working for peanuts. Okay. Now he's not no clown in a circus. Right. All right. He's not no freak in a little show somewhere where you pay twenty five cents and the curtain him and say, "Man, that's right. a freak." Right. No, he's a human being. Right. Pay the man his money. That's what I'm mad about him. I'm, I'm mad from the last call. But thanks to you, my blood pressure went down. Just a little taste. Good. Now it's going back up because I can't stand this with Jerry Jones playing game. Well, I don't really know if I got the money. All right, Jerry, we don't told you. Pay Dak his money. Poor Dak. I, I, I feel so sorry for Dak. Right. He need to get his money. Poor baby. He need to get his money. He gonna get and if it. I was Dak, I'd tell him I'm not coming to training camp until you got my green. Mm. Mm. He gonna get his Hell money, Uncle money. He gonna get his money, Uncle Charlie. I promise. Well, this ain't no this ain't no shop movie. This ain't shop in Africa. <laughs> get me my money. Appreciate you. It. Have a good night, boss, and I love you, bro. Appreciate the call, Uncle Charlie. Salute. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uncle Charlie say, Uncle Charlie say, this ain't shop in Africa, dog. Get that man his money. He ain't no he ain't no freak show clown. He ain't no clown in the circus. He ain't no bus driver. He ain't Case Keenum. Give him his money and quit playing, Jerry Jones. Oh, man, I hope y'all was focused, man. Oh, I hope y'all was focused, man. Uncle Charlie don't be playing, man. <laughs> Uncle Charlie don't play. Drummer Cam, what's good, man? 
Hey, Vox man, what's going on? <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, my guy. What you got for the show, though? Yeah. Dude, um, I have to say, I'm not. We signed it, Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Sure. And I, I wasn't real sure how I felt about that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he can't. We all know he doesn't play the box for a while. All right. I mean, if you don't sure. put him in the box, right. I think he'll be all right. Uh, but I was listening to Okoye in the round table that you guys had, mm-hmm. and I was like, he brought it up for a second. Um, he's like, y'all are going about, you know, some of the acquisitions and such. And then Okoye touched on it, and y'all didn't really touch on it afterwards. Okay. Uh, but that's Bryant. Right. Let me ask you this, sure. because now I know you like T D Lamb, mm-hmm. and I don't think it makes a lot of sense. Now that you said that, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to bring in T D Lamb uh, or bring in Des Bryant if you were to bring in a guy like T D Lamb because they're kind of the same. Right. Um, you know, they jump up ball ball getter guys. Mm-hmm. But if you didn't get C D Lamb and you had Des Bryant as a as a just Think about this. What if you lined up Des Bryant in like a two tight end set? Who boy. Uh so they was having this conversation earlier on um Law Nation live stream. And oh, okay. I was I was having a, a whole shout match in the comment sections or whatnot. Um I like Des. I like Des. But if you play Des at tight end you force yourself to be predictable. That's one problem I got. Two, I don't think Dez can run anymore. Like, Dez can run faster than me, sure. But how much am I losing if I put Dez at slot receiver when I could have Devin Smith at slot? You see what I mean? Or somebody like that. Yeah. Um, but I'm not looking I'm not looking at Dez to beat guys. I'm looking at Dez to out muscle guys. I'm looking at Dez to just play physical because that's what Dez does. So if I'm going to throw a jump ball, I, you know, Michael Gallup, sure. Des Bryant made, you know, that was his money ball between him and Tony. Like sure. the jump ball was him and Tony's bread. Like, sure. that, like if you had some option of that over the middle where he's running in the middle, and even then if you get some, a coop on the outside and some double move scenarios with him there down below, like you, I don't know, it just in my head it seems like it would be lethal. You know, if you'd have caught me with this two years ago, and it was like two years ago, Dez, I probably would have had this conversation. I don't think Dez yeah. is who he is anymore, even as jump guy guy. Just give me give me a a young jump guy guy. Give me Colin Johnson from uh from from Texas. Give me um Jawan Jennings from Tennessee. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, I understand like. When I think about the whole can Dez give you something conversation, that reminds me of the can Jason Witten give you give you something conversation. And we was like, okay, Jason Witten can give us something. He can give us, hey, he can give us them three-yard hitches he do until he started only doing three-yard hitches. And we was like, man, we could have got Jarwin in there to at least run down the right. field a little bit. You see what I'm saying? C.D. Lamb, yep. Lamb can do what Dez can do. But C.D. Lamb is also faster. C.D. Lamb is also harder to tackle. He's yak guy now. Um, and he also can muscle people. You see what I mean? So mm-hmm. I just don't foresee Dez being able to come in and contribute on a high level. Now, would I like to have Dez on the team so when so when we win the damn Super Bowl, can he get a ring? I would love that. But my problem, <laughs> we can only carry 46 people on game day. And Dez ain't playing kickoff right. to tackle nobody. Dez ain't playing a gunner on punt team. Dez ain't going to return no kicks. I'd rather have Tony Pollard return kicks. You know what I mean? So it's just going to yeah. be hard to find a spot for Dez. It's going to be hard. Hey, are you? I'm just throwing it out there, man. I yeah. appreciate the conversation. But I love Dez, though, man. Dez is so dope. He's so fun to watch. And I, 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 I hope, man, I just, I just wish – he could just come on the team and get his ring and be our six receiver and just hang around and we don't need that last spot. Uh, but, boy, I don't think he's going to have problem again. We, we've wasted that spot on worse. I mean. That's I, fair. I could, That's I fair. Like, we Lance, have. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lance Lenore. Sure. I mean, come on. <laughs> sure. We have 100% lucky whitehead and all that bullshit. But, look, drummer cam, we was wrong and we shouldn't have done it. 
You know what I'm saying? We was wrong and we yeah. shouldn't have done it. We should have got better. And hopefully us getting better, we not wasting spots on receiver anymore. I agree, though. I agree. I think uh, I do agree with that, right? And I think uh, I, I, assessment is totally fair. I just throw it out there. Sure, sure. I uh, I like that. And, man, it would be it would be nice, like I said, to, to, if we could – because if we're going to pull a ring, this is the year we're going to do it. Sure. Because you mentioned this on the Zach uh, – Modern video where like Mike had a, a year off to sit back and go, what am I missing? And I think I, I honestly don't think that Jerry Jones was going to hire Mike McCarthy. I honestly think we probably would have ended up with another year with Jason Garrett. I honestly believe that. But I think Mike has sat down and evaluated so much football in the last year that he's got this great plan and. Dak Prescott looked phenomenal last year. I don't care what anybody said. If if you're still hating on Dak Prescott, it's just because you're a hater in the story. Sure. Because uh, that man was phenomenal last year. I uh, think I think Mike McCarthy was able to watch football from an outside looking in standpoint. Like if you a coach, yep. like if you a if you a coach in a league, you really can't keep up with too much trends in the league because you're so focused on your team. You so focused yep. on your team, you can't watch everybody else, whether it's passing or whether you're mm-hmm. studying film. Mike McCarthy got a chance to just sit at the crib and just study everybody and just to say, hey, what's the best exactly. from everybody? So I think we're uh, we're going to be getting pieces of that when he uh, when he uh, comes back to Dallas. Or uh, when he comes yep. to Dallas. I'm looking forward to it, man. I really am. And I appreciate all the videos you've been putting out. It's uh, beginning to the core team. <laughs> great call. Great call, Drummer Cam. We working over here, man. I'm trying to drop a video every day till the draft, and then I'm going to take a vacation for like a day, and I'm going to get back to it. Appreciate you, Doc. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Even, even when the draft get here, even when the draft get here, ain't no days off for me. I'm going to do a video the day after that. Um, CJ Henderson or Ken Law in the first round. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. TCU, Jalen Rager in the second. Let me tell you something, man. I, I love Jalen Rager. He ain't C D Lamb. <laughs> Just like that. He ain't C D Lamb. Hey yo, Chris, how good was Uncle Charlie, man? Hey man, I love Uncle Charlie. I'm gonna be Uncle Charlie in about fifteen years, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be like Uncle Charlie. I'm gonna have all them cool sayings. And everything will be like Uncle Charlie. <laughs> hey, we, you know, we talk about music a lot. Sure. You know, Jill Scott made a song called Just Run Across My Mind, right? Bless her, yeah. And, and, and that is how a lot of people think about Des Bryant. You think about all the wonderful things he used to do. Oh, boy. But it gets to a point where they weren't good for you and you weren't good for them. Damn. We need to stop this talk about bringing Des Bryant back. You didn't love when Jason Witten came back last year. So how the heck you going to love Des Bryant, two years removed, off an Achilles, trying to play? We want him to be physical. No, I want him to beat people. I want him to cause separation. I want him to run downfield and score touchdowns. I can go get a younger version of Des Bryant or get a younger version to go do that. CD I'm going to get I'm going to get CD Lamb. Okay, if Judy if Jerry Judy sitting there, I'm gonna get Jerry Judy. We can. Uh, this is what we all have the access to do now. Watch, we can all go get NFL game pads. Sure. We got it free until May. You can buy it for ninety nine dollars when we come back, and you can go back and look at all the wonderful things Des Bryant did. Yeah. But we, as educated Cowboys fans, have got to stop saying, "Hey, what about this?" Damn. We want to bring back everybody, right? Who in the past was good, but we didn't win Jack Bone. Let's go get Ron Leary. Ron Leary's four, three, four years removed from when he was. Hmm. Right? Let's go get this. Let's, hey, how about let's move forward? Let's move forward, man. Let's get some of these young studs, these young lines that we sit back three, four years when they come up free agent. Man, we wish we could have got him. Because hmm. ain't none of y'all hollering, let's go get Taco Charlton. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Ain't, 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 ain't nobody talking about go get – this, that, and third, go get somebody like that. Man, let's go get these young cats, man. These young, hungry cats, and let's continue to build this thing. Mm. Let's continue to build this thing, man. You, can, you, I thought 17, 17 normally is no man's land. 
But this is the first time, man, we are right in a prime spot, man. I don't want to trade back like most people. I want to stay there 17. Let me go get a, go get a daggum wide receiver because all the wide receivers we're talking about, we can get at 17, can play inside and outside. Mm-hmm. Because you know who nobody wants to. You know, we talking about going getting another slot receiver. I'm going to tell you who nobody wants to see in the slot. Amari Cooper. Nobody wants to. <laughs> Boy, come on! Man. Man, nobody want to see that. Nobody want to see him in the slot. Hell no! You want to you want to watch you want to watch a man pee, you want to watch a man pee on himself? Got a third corner guy. Look at Amari Cooper in the slot. Mm. Look at Amari Cooper in the slot. Somebody, uh, somebody in law chat box earlier, they was like, Amari Cooper's a top talent. He's not a slot receiver. You shitting me? <laughs> Listen, there, 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 there again, I said it. NFL Game Pass is free to the 31st of May. Man. <laughs> Go out and look at this film, man. man. You watch this film, man. You can, you know, as, as Law says so smoothly, you know, in the film breakdown before every time he does it, go look at the film, man. Because mm. you go look at the film and you can start seeing how these guys are just, how, how, how Amari Cooper is just probably, people say, oh, he's not worth $20 million because you don't think he does this, that, and the third. And because the guy played hurt all last year. Because we all forget in training camp he had plantar fasciitis, sure. and he still continued to play. Sure. He never complained. That's that's the one thing you had to worry about. He didn't complain. Right. He didn't be more complaining about oh I'm hurt, a hey, I'm okay. The organization said he was okay, and he wouldn't get his thing. But man, listen, we we got we got to get get out of love with old players, man. We got to get out of love with them, and, and that and that and that's what a lot of and, and drummer camp is a stud. Sure. But we as a nation have got to stop falling in love with old players. The guys had their time. They were great. They got us to the precipice. Now it's time to go from there to go to the next level. Continue to listen to the show, man. Love y'all, man. Yes, sir. Hey, yo, Chris, somebody was like, yo, Vach, you think we can get DeMarcus Wett to come back for one year? <laughs> <laughs> boy, if you don't get your goof ass out of my goddamn Twitter, boy. <laughs> boy, 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 the chat, boy, the chat about to be on fire, man. They'll say anything, man. They'll just, they just fire off stuff just to get it, just to get it popping, boy. Appreciate it, Chris. Thanks for the call, man. Be good, man. <laughs> Yo, Vach, you think we can get DeMarcus Ware for cheap to come in? <laughs> the conference has been locked. <laughs> if y'all don't shut up talking to me, shots out of the toot. He hit up the cash app. Appreciate you, sir. He just showing some love in there. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Uh, Sports Guru dropped five, then he dropped two. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Let's get into the phones then. Uh, if y'all want to call into the show, the number to call in is 5156. Well, shit, I just locked the conference. God damn. <laughs> I got two online. I'll the add one more. Has been unlocked. I'll add one more. See what y'all are talking about. TP from NC. What's cracking, man? What's up, Bosh? What's going on with your boy? Everything is everything, my guy. What you what you got for the show? Bosh, we just talked about that last week. Remember we were talking about the offensive line? Yes, sir. And then Travis Frederick going to retire. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, it won't hurt me. It won't hurt me at all, man. The Cowboys won offense, offensive line. It won't hurt me at all at 17. Mm. I'm going to be honest with you. But hey, I, it's, it's all about the trenches, baby. It's all yeah, about the trenches. Yeah. But, TP, I'll tell you what, though, man. These other teams. Huh? i tell you what, though, man. The Cowboys last year, they walked so the Cowboys this year can run. You know what I mean? Like, we drafted a guy last year. We drafted a guy last year. I think I Connor, Connor McGovern, I think that's the equivalent to drafting somebody, you know the what I'm saying? The conference has been to, locked. To drafting somebody this year, you know? Right, right, right. Well, what do you think? Well, if we had to get a center, and I'm not saying it's 17, but if we had to get a center, center, what do you think about Wisconsin? Uh, Tyler Badass from Wisconsin. I like him. You know, he can make his calls. He can move around a little bit. I don't think he's powerful enough. I don't think he's powerful okay. enough. Okay. But Connor McGovern, <laughs> the boy we drafted hey, last hey, year. I'm with you. I'm with, I'm with you. I'm he with gonna, you he, 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 gonna, he going to move people, man. TP, I promise we're going to be watching training camp live. He gonna be moving right. people to you. I, I promise you. I'm, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, babe. I'm all about the trenches. I'm yeah. gonna tell you that right now. Yes, I'm sir. all about the trenches. Yes, sir. But even hey, though, but even though TP, even though TP, I like what you're saying. Let's draft the offensive lineman anyway, because we don't know what's gonna happen next yeah, year. Right. We don't know what's gonna happen hey, next exactly. year. Ty, hey, Tyron. Hey, I love Tyron. Don't get me wrong. He's the best offensive tackle out there. But mm-hmm. hey, hey, he getting longer than two, babe. It's he getting fast. longer than two. That's it's all I'm fast. saying. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And listen, yeah. man, I- I'm that so is. glad, TP, you ain't one of these Cowboy fans that's hitting me up like, yo, Vach, you want to trade Tyron Smith to see what we can get? For what? Oh, man. For oh. what? Come on, man. No. 
baby. I'm gonna run Tyron Smith to that damn. I'm gonna run Tyron Smith to that key don't turn no more. <laughs> exactly. Then exactly. we'll figure all it out. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you can't never get a, get too many offensive linemen. That's all I'm saying. Hey, hey, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so uh, I'm gone, but um, I will be hot, hitting, hitting you up, and I'm gonna try to make it to camp. If 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 this corona is over with, I'm gonna try sure. to make it to camp. But uh, hope to see you, Vosh. Appreciate you, man. We are gonna see about him. Hop on that plane if everything clean, dog. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Hey, don't close it. Peace, have a good one, man. <laughs> so I say, right, so I say, yo, Vach, Miles Austin for one year. Let's do it. It's interesting how y'all like the 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 good old people. Y'all would prefer a good old person over a a new young person. Like like y'all would still try to get Larry Allen, but y'all don't want to give Chaz Green another shot. <laughs> Larry Allen could be like 45 years old, have it holy, have it hell, old is. But we'll give a shot to old Larry Allen before we give new Chaz Green another shot. Y'all funny, man. Y'all funny. Uh, yeah, Joe Sandberg, I do believe that Connor Williams was probably going to be taking over Tyron Smith. Um, is going to be taking over left tackle when Tyron Smith is gone. Hey, but then we're going to need a guard. So we'll find a guard, plug him right in the left end. We'll be good to go, man. People give Cowboys a lot of shit, man, but they cover their bases. Promise you. 504, what's up, New Orleans? Hey, what's up, Vox? Everything, everything. What you got for the show? Yeah, man, I was um, saying we need a, um, a defensive player in the first round. Okay. Yeah, we need to go and get some boy, T.J. Henderson. Okay. Uh, see, Xavier McKinney. I think we could draft a, um, a receiver in the second round because they got a lot of good receivers. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, I feel you, man, but, boy, there's a lot of good receivers, but we ain't got no receivers like we got in that first three. I feel what you're saying, though. And I like C.J. Henderson. I don't think Henderson going to be there. I like Delpin and McKinney. I don't think they're good enough to be taken at 17. I don't mind Delpit being taken at 17. I wouldn't mind it. Um, but I think Delpit will be there in the 20s. I also think I also think Xavier McKinney will be there around the the, uh, the uh, 30s or so. But if we're in the game for best player available, we always hating on Cowboys for not taking best player available. If we looking for the best player, if we at 17, wide receiver might be the best guy there. Plus, it's corners in the second round. It's – this pass rushes in the second round. You see what I mean? Yes. Because I feel like on the uh, offensive side, we got a power offense. And I think we still need to work on our defense because that's what we be getting lost at. I tell you what, though. I tell you what. In terms of, like, you you trying to win a Super Bowl this year, right? Yeah. CeeDee Lamb helps you win a Super Bowl this year more than a defender on defense would. Right. That's big facts. That's big facts. CeeDee Lamb going to get you way more points than a defender on defense would. Right. What you, what you think we got to sign Dak? We got to do what? We got to sign Dak? Uh, we going we gonna, to we gonna pay Dak his money. Dak going to be all right. Dak going to get his 36 or so million in, in the next few days, hopefully. He'll be all right. Oh, all, right. oh, all right, then. Might as take it easy. All right, all right, take it easy, New Orleans. Stay in the crib, man. Don't be going out, man. I heard it's bad out there in New Orleans. Uh huh. Yeah, be safe. All right, bro. You too. <laughs> How you do that there? <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. Somebody say the phone lock. Was you uh? Was you trying to get on the phone, enemy Michael? Was you trying to get back on the phone, fam? You, you trying to get back on the phone? I open it up. I ain't doing nothing. Else. I ain't doing nothing else. Uh, Antonio, what's happening? What's happening, dog? Cool, my guy. What you got for the show? Man, I had a, you know, a little statement I was gonna make, but after hearing all these uh, discussions, I was like, man, I'll talk on the on the damn wagon here. How about we uh, we sign and tell Owen dirt cheap four million, <laughs> and then we get a what's it say? Deion Sanders, you know, prime time. We gotta pay him a little extra, maybe a little. Let me tell you something. Wait a minute. Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. <laughs> you laughing? There's a cowboy fan somewhere that'll give Deion Sanders five million dollars to go play corner. I promise you, it's a cowboy fan somewhere that think that shit. 
I promise you. The conference has been unlocked. Over uh, Tara Logan, you know, just for the respect, you know, I'll be, I'll be cool with that. <laughs> Somebody going to hit me up. Yo, Vach, I saw Chad Ochocinco kicking field goals on Twitter. You think we can bring him in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, we might as well even, uh, what if we uh, re-sign Jeff Heath for a backup kicker? Because, you know, shit happens and <laughs> we've seen all Jeff Heath make a couple of kicks in there. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Heath can't kick now. Jeff, Jeff Heath can't. But I'm good. We got two kickers i'm good yeah all right well um back to i had a one question man one statement yes sir i wasn't here for the when you first started the line i got here kind of late so yeah. i don't know if you guys i'm assuming you guys talked about it but uh what's the deal with us signing that uh rams uh kicker i mean we already have what's his face kai forbath sure do you think it's just for security or is it because we don't think kai forbath is the future for us well um well, they they both the same age. They both thirty two, I believe. But um, Fossil, um, John Fossil, our new coordinator, he came from the Rams. So if he's gonna oh, be if he if he's gonna be coordinating, I guess he won his guy and he has faith in his guy. Um, my problem is, uh, if you look at Forbath's last few games that he that he played for us, he didn't miss no kicks. He didn't miss no nope. kicks for I us. think he had a he had a, a few uh, mishaps with the I think the what was it the punt or whatever punting the ball or whatever it was. No, nah, I'm just talking about I kicking. I, I don't I don't I don't yeah. I don't I don't remember him punting. But he was ten for ten in field goals and he ain't missed none of his extra points. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But Zerline <clears throat> racked up a few injuries, and. Actually, I got it pulled up. Um, give me thirty seconds, man. Uh, Zerline had a few injuries and he missed a couple field goals. Zerline was uh twenty four of thirty three. He was uh seventy two percent. His long was fifty eight. So he 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 probably got a little more distance than Kyle uh Forbab yeah. does. Um, but damn, like I don't care about your distance. Just like hit the field goals, we line you up to hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean. I'd, I'd rather have a guy that makes the simple, medium, short-range field goals over the, you know, super rare, long, you know, sure. last-ditch effort field goals because, you know, those short, medium ones, those are the ones that'll, you know, bite you in the ass if you don't you make them. Sure. Do your numbers. Do your numbers. Um, but, yeah, it is what it is, though, man. Hey, thanks for the call, man. We're going to see if we can get T.O. up in here for, <laughs> for, All right, cool. for half a million dollars. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see, let's see. Callers, don't go nowhere. I'm about to just talk about these kickers for a second because I had this pulled up earlier and I was looking at it because um, Zerline did miss some field goals last year, man. So I – it was a great look at it too, the career stats. It did a year by year, but it also did like the distance or whatever. Here we go. So Kyle Forbath last year – was 100% fam. <laughs> he was 100%. He didn't play as many games, though. I mean, he played our last, what, like, few games or whatever, three games, they say, I guess. But, um, hey, he hit all the 20s, the 30s. He was 7 for 7 for 40 to 49. And he was 1 for 1 in the 50s, you know what I'm saying? And even before that, right, like, he, he – let's see, let's see. What was this – full season he got 16 games in with the vikings let's see 16 games in with the vikings right eight and eight he was eight for eight 12 for 14 six for nine extra point 34 for 39 and number ain't too terrible but we go to zerline numbers i saw this last year and i'm like god damn zerline i ain't know all that zerline kicked like 72 percent which is less than 80 something he was 7 for 7 in the 20s, 7 for 8 in the 30s, then a whopping 5 for 11 in the 40s. That made me nervous. He was 5 for 11 in the 40s, and he was 5 for 7 in the 50s. Now, he attempted more 50s, so I don't really hate you for missing 50s because sometimes you just got to, you know, shoot your shots. You make some, you know, you miss some. Um, but I think the one year that got him all that clout was when people was, like, winning fantasy football games because they had him in 2017. When he was just hitting all these, right? He was he was kicking ninety five percent in twenty seventeen, which is insane. But in twenty eighteen, eighty seven percent, 
2016, 86%. 2015, 66%. It's just interesting. It's just interesting, you know? Four bath, uh, these don't count because it, it, I'm, I'm saying it don't count, but even three games, though, that's 100% over three games. Uh, but 84%, 100, 100. So I don't know, man. It could be a competition. It could be a real life competition. We'll see what happens. I don't have all the answers, but um, I think they're going to be competing in training camp. But uh, Zerline makes the most money, man. Zerline making like $2 million or something. Uh, pardon me. Yeah, yeah, like two million a year or something, or one point seven a year, or whatever the number is. And Zerline is making not Zerline. Uh, Forbath is making like less than that. I got some weird ass names, dog. Forbath is is making less than that. So, you know, I might call back in. I'm locking the phones. <laughs> the conference has been locked. I'm locking the phones. So we're gonna get these last four callers. And I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Call my girl. What you want, Mike? Hi, man. I, I just wanted to touch on it real quick because. Are you it's riding a spaceship or something, Mike? What you at NASA or something? What the hell are you at, man? <laughs> I work for LPL, man. We're considered essential. Mike got the phone but hanging out the window, man. Damn. I, right, I, right, Mike. My bad. Go, go, go ahead, Mike. My, my bad. Go ahead. So, like, it's just to touch on kickers real quick because I don't want to spend a lot of time on that. Sure. It's just funny how we got got so comfortable with Dan Bailey, and Dan Bailey leaves because he misses two kicks, and all of a sudden, kickers. Uh, hot topic for us. Mm. Super hot topic. Sure. But, um, man, I was going down. I was listening the entire time, and I was just marking um, some of the points off of my list because set it off Chris, like hit it, hit everything that I wanted to talk about. Sure. But I guess I just wanted to touch on free agency and talk about Zeke's contract because, you know, Dak's contract is, you know, everybody doesn't want to pay Dak's contract or at least or pay Dak his money, whatever that stupid-ass argument is. Sure. But Zeke's contract, it's bad, but it's not his fault. And I got I, – I have a point if you let me get to it. Go ahead. Do your thing. Bad wh- – I like free agency, but I hate it because bad teams overpay mediocre players. Sure. Gurley had no right to get that contract, especially if you knew his knee was bummed. Instead, the Rams inflated his contract. And, of course, Zeke deserves more money than, than Gurley. Okay. Um, can't be mad at that. Um, Byron Jones. Byron Jones is great. This is not – let me – Byron Jones is fantastic. But the Dolphins are paying him so much. So I understand why you want. Sure. Um, Nate Soldier does not deserve starting left tackle money at all. And Nate Soldier gets paid. I don't like free agency because bad teams overpay okay players. Like Quinn got seventy million. Have him. He's gonna stand up, he's gonna disappear, and then Bears fans are gonna figure out, oh well, he had eleven sacks at Dallas, what happened? Right. Because you you're playing him out of position. Free agency is a crutch for good teams. Oh no, no, scratch that. Let me back that up. Free agency is a crutch for bad teams, but a tool for good teams. I don't expect McCoy or Poe to be long-term, but they are a damn good stopgap for us to figure out what we're going to do one or two years down the line. I think people need to understand that that free agency is a market-based thing, and it fluctuates. So if Jared Goff is getting paid the money he's getting paid, Dak Prescott has every right to argue that sure. and deserve that money. Sure. I, 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 and so don't tell me that Zeke's contract is bad or we should trade him off when he is the top two running back in the NFL and he's not two. Because when Saquon and McCaffrey come to the table, those contra- the contract that Zeke has will look cheap, extremely mm. cheap. And then also, uh, too, I, I, Zeke's, Zeke's contract is only like another, what, like three years or something? Yeah, and, we, and I think on the – Second to the last year, we can cut them and save ourselves what eight, nine million? Sure, I think. Sure, so, I read that right. Yeah, so there's a way. Uh, out. There's a way out of Zeke. Yeah, yeah, and I, I just find it laughable whenever we start talking about Zeke's contract when he deserves money like that, and it's not because the Dallas Cowboys gave in, it's because it's just what the market called for. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think people need to understand that, especially with Dak's situation. Good quarterbacks are not cheap. 
Sure. And it reminds me of that family family guy episode. I'm going off now, but like he chooses the mystery box because it can be anything including a boat. But you well, right now we're boat. we're looking at the mystery box. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a QB one or we could just find our QB one. Sure. I, I don't like the game of Russian roulette. I don't. I'm not. I don't. I, if we're going to go to the Super Bowl, find your QB one now. Otherwise, you're going to draft a rookie and expect another seven, eight and eight season. We but, ain't trying to do that. But then, to be fair, though, like it ain't even like we got, hey, we got Colt McCoy and he's better than what a rookie would be. We got fucking Dak Prescott. Like, Dak was top in all the passing stats this year, like top three in all the passing numbers. So, like, beat it. <laughs> but, uh, but, but, but critics will tell you. Dak did that in garbage time. I don't listen well, to I, civilians like, or critics or PFF. I, I don't either because I will counter with our defense was subpar. Subpar. Sure. Now, again, Dak deserves his money. Don't play with him. Don't if, sign him now because if you do a, a goofy little one, two-year deal, you're just going to shoot yourself in the foot when his contract comes back up again. And he's going to walk. Simple as that. Lock him up now. Agree. All right. All right, boss. That's all I had. Uh, I got to get back to work now, you unfortunately. Be... All right, man. Hey, man, look. Hey, <laughs> hey, look, man. Be safe in outer space, man. I know you had to hop out the <laughs> – you know what I'm saying? You had to hop out the gravity chamber to make this call, man. I pre... This was a really good call, though, man. Appreciate it. All right, later, boss. <laughs> boy, Mike. Boy, I heard, boy, I heard Houston count down, count down from 10 when Mike picked up the phone. <laughs> He was like, yeah, Voss, what are you doing? <laughs> Cowboy fans are tripping. What are we doing? Hilarious. Oh, man, let's go to uh, – we got three more callers. We're going to get them out the way. And then um, I'm going to go make a salad or something because Vegan Voss is popping right now. Danny, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Voss? This is the first time like, I've ever called in. Hey, to thanks for calling in. But, uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah, uh – I was. I had a question for you, actually. Uh, I know you study a lot of film and stuff like that. You've been looking up on college players. Is there any like hidden gems in like the late rounds that you think we could snag up? There's a defensive tackle, one tick, from Baylor, named Brevion Roy. He's fantastic. He pushed the pocket. Plus, I hate like these. Um, I hate these one techs that that can't run around. Brevion is big as hell. He's strong and he can run around. Um, but I think he's just kind of being slept on a little bit, and he may be around in the fourth or so. I'll take Brevion Roy in the in the in the fourth round. For sure. Hey, I think those those late round draft picks. That's really what makes your team. Because you know those gems. If you get something really special, it's just like you chose him over those over other thirty one teams. So Ooh, it's like really wait confused. a minute, Denny. Wait a minute, because Joe Sandberg on fire. Joe, Joe, listen, Joe, listen to my show, so he know what I'm about to say. Like before I say it, look, Tennessee got a <laughs> Tennessee got a wide receiver named Jawan Jennings. Go watch, uh, go watch Jawan Jennings versus versus Missouri or uh, um, South Carolina. Nobody tackled him. Nobody, not a soul. Go check those games okay. out. Go watch Jawan Jennings from Tennessee and Brevion Roy from Baylor. Watch those games and come back next week and tell me what you think. Yes, sir. Okay, I got you. Appreciate you, man. All right, yeah, that's that's all I got. That's all I got right now. Hey, man, thanks for the call. Next time. I just yeah. plugged you in platinum, so next time you call in, you ain't got to wait forever with everybody else, man. Appreciate you. Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. He called me yes, sir, because he think I'm old, man. I'm 28, man. Relax. <laughs> Would y'all relax, please, man? What's yeah, wrong with y'all? Um, let's get back into the phone call. Let's get back into the phone call. Let's get back into the phone calls. Uh, we got two more callers. Let's see what y'all are talking about. Neither of them are platinum, so let's see how this goes. Nine five one. What up? Who this? What up, boss? It's John from Cali, bro. What up, John from Cali? What you got for the show? Yeah, man. So. First off, I want to show some love from Cali for you do educating these wild ass Cowboys fans. Especially in Cali, they're a little trippy sometimes. Appreciate you, my guy. I'm gonna try but, to be in Oxnard this year, but we'll see. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Sounds good. So, your little uh, Illuminati theory you did the other day on the 49ers and, and their quarterback. Yeah. It kind of. I'm a, I'm about to reach a little bit. I'm gonna sound like goofy ass, but honestly, I'm just uh, until the draft comes up. Until, goddamn. 
Isaiah Simmons, Isaiah, Isaiah Simmons card is pulled up and his name is drafted to another team. I'm mm-hmm. still holding it on hold, brother. Sure. A couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, before this damn coronavirus stuff came up, sure. Jerry Jones uh, talked about making a splash in the draft. Mm. And I know there's a really small chance of that happening, but I still hold it on hold, brother. I really want Isaiah Simmons with the Cowboys. Hey, man. Um, I know I'm all in on CD Lamb and. I scream and holler and you know da 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 boom boom boom. If we draft, if if we trade up to get Isaiah Simmons, all bets are off. Ceedee Lamb wasn't that good, no way. I hate Ceedee Lamb. If that's the case, <laughs> I yeah man, never. that's a reach, but it, it, it is a reach. It is a <laughs> it is a bit of an Illuminati theory, but if it happens, yeah. Ceedee Lamb wasn't that good anyway. Give me Isaiah Simmons. <laughs> yeah, brother. But uh, back to back to reality. Who who would you rather pick at uh? At, at 17 right now. Do you have a, a pet cat you want to pick up other than CD? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> what you mean? CD Lamb is the only person that matters at 17. He's the only one. Um, yeah. But if, I mean, him or Judy or whatever, but if we're forced into a situation uh, to where we got defenders on the board and we're not looking for wide receiver or the best receivers are gone, AJ Epinesa from Iowa wouldn't be a bad pick to me. Um, it seems like Caleb on Chason is a name that's constantly popping up for us, you know, I don't hate it. He's an edge rusher. If we can develop him into being a top tier edge rusher, then it is what it is. Um, C.J. Henderson probably won't be there, but and look, I'm 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 constantly saying who won't be there. But if all these people I like get taken early, if they get taken before seventeen, somebody's gonna fall to seventeen. Right. Some gangster's gonna fall to seventeen. So we'll see what happens. We'll see. Yes, sir. I'm All right, Ivar. I was there. just wanted to get my little Illumin- Illuminati theory out in the atmosphere. Hopefully, hey, hopefully, hopefully, I'm still holding out hope. It's small. It's little, little chance of it happening, but hey, <laughs> Illuminati theory. Chance is a chance, brother. <laughs> Illuminati theory. Appreciate it, John from Cali. You're you're uh you're platinum now. So next time you call in, you'll get platinum treatment. Thank you, sir. Right. Yes, yeah, sir. Appreciate you. Have a good one. Yep. We got one more call. We got one more call. We got one more call. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nine five six. What area code is that? Nine five six. What up? Who this? Hey, Bosh. What's happening? Um, I got just two things to say real quick. All right. And I'll get out you here. Okay. Uh, at seventeen, if Andrew Thomas is there and your guy C.D. Lamb isn't there, Chase on isn't there, Henderson isn't there, will you? Choose Anthony Thomas. Uh, Andrew Thomas. Sorry. I would, but damn, who failed to make all that happen? Is is Kinlaw there? No. Damn. Why, I'm not that big on Kinlaw. <laughs> Why aren't you that big on Kinlaw, sir? I just I'm not like I'm not big on drafting a three tech at seventeen or even a top fifteen. You wouldn't draft a three tech at top fifteen. That's where you draft them at. Yeah. That's where you're supposed to draft them. I'd rather get a tackle, receiver, corner, yeah. safety. Like, I'd rather choose Delpit. I'd choose McKinney over Kim Law, if I'm being honest. Oh. Boy, if we pick Xavier McKinney over Javon Kinlaw, Jason Garrett never would have done it. You can fire Mike McCarthy right now. Um. <laughs> Well, if those guys aren't th- – I don't have a problem with, with taking offensive line at 17. Sure. As as long as it's one of those first four guys. Like, if it's Josh Jones on the board, then I'm not taking him. Um, but, sure, like if it's uh, Wills, Werfs, Beckton, Thomas, sure, I'll I'll take one of those guys at, at, uh, at 14. Absolutely. I mean, uh, 17, sure. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't like Epinesa either. I like Epinesa. Like, sure. I would – I would not go anywhere near him at seventeen. What? Okay. What? Okay. Shit. You don't like Ken Law, so why don't you like Epinesa then? Because he's, in my opinion, he's too big to be a DN and R scheme. He's too slow. He's more of a power guy, and I, I don't really like a power guy. Just say you don't like D lineman. <laughs> just, just no, I, I like D lineman. No, you I, don't. I do. I, no, you don't. Just, just say you don't like I gotta have a guy who can bend and finesse longer than just 
keep trying to run them over every single time. What's wrong with running people over, especially if you get sex? <laughs> okay, okay. How about this? What what defensive end do you like, or or what D lineman do you like? Uh Uh Oh, he gonna hang the phone up. Oh, he gonna. You know what? That's why you ain't platinum. That's why you ain't platinum. <laughs> he gonna hang the phone up. Hey, man, call in next time, bro, so we can um. Uh... So we can figure this out. Jeez. Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me just tell y'all y'all something, man. Everybody listening in right now, man. You can't call my show half stepping. Let me tell you why. Because I got the best audience in the, in 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 YouTube. I got the best chat box in YouTube. And my entire chat box is sitting over here like, yo, buddy, what are you what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing there? But my whole chat box is filled with information. Filled with information. <laughs> you just can't show up and be like, yeah, so uh, Ken Law is bad. Why is he bad? Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you like Epinesa? No. Why not? He's bad. Why is Epinesa bad? Uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's bad. <laughs> Let me the unlock the phone. conference has been unlocked. Let me unlock the phone, man. We can't end on that one, man. We can't end on that one. Sports Guru say he was a troll. I, you know what? I don't think he's a troll. I don't think he's a troll. I just think he need to watch my channel a little bit more. And, um, you know, and he'll, you know. I don't think he's a troll. I don't. Turn your laptop down. 956, what's happening? Hey, I'm back. <laughs> what up, my guy? Nah, man, be, I, I never said I... Uh, to call he's bad. I never said that. Come no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fooling with you. But however, let me ask you this: So why? Okay, so what D lineman do you like at seventeen? Um, uh, what's his name? I like Chase on. You like Chase on? Okay. Uh, yeah, but he's not like defined as much. Sure. So um, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, finish, go. finish, finish, finish. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Chase on, who else? Like. Uche. Who? I love him. Josh Uche. Okay, Josh Uche. Okay, cool. Josh Uche. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, who else? I this guy from DJ Warnham. DJ Warnham from South Warnham. Carolina. Okay, cool. So Warnham. I get it. Okay, so, okay, yeah. so so you like quick twitchy guys, right? You like quick twitchy pass rusher yeah. guys. I got you. You like Zach Bond and, you know, all them guys. So... AJ Epinesa got more sacks and quarterback pressures than all those guys. Yeah. He just do he just but, do he just do it slower. And that's not a bad thing. He just wins different. So where opposed to running around people, he runs through people. But eleven and a half sacks is eleven and a half sacks. Yeah, you can say it. Yeah, I get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> uh, D Law, D Law doesn't run around people, but you know he 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 has power yeah, moves. He, he kind of does them. No, he don't. I do. I, I, I do. A, I, I do a lot of D. I, look, I watch. I think I've broken down every single D Law play for the past th four years because that's just what I do on my channel. D Law used power I, moves. He used jabs down the middle of the chest. He does wrist control. He does um, hop steps and slaps. He does not speed rush people. He's a power rusher. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say he's a much of yeah. I, Marsh, I've been here for a while. I've seen you for a long time, I think. Good. We should be on the same page then. We should be on the same page. Yeah, yeah. Like, but uh, I, don't really, I don't think the law is much. Yeah, and you're no. So you don't like Aaron Donald as a as a as a pass rusher neither, right? You don't like Aaron Donald uh, uh, pass rush. No, I like Aaron Donald. You don't like I three think, ticks. I think Tristan Hill can be Aaron Donald. <laughs> you, you just talk, you, but you don't like three ticks. I understand. I got you. I got you. I got you. I, I, I like three ticks. I just don't want to draft them top and peas. Oh, you got to. <laughs> oh, you got to. <laughs> You got to take them. Look, look, let me tell you something. If if you want a real good three tech, you got to take them top 15, man. You got to do it. You got to do it. Yeah. Either, either that or find you a little diamond in the rough, and how often do we find them? Yeah, like, I, gotta, I like Marlon Davidson. 
Marlon's fantastic. Like you're, you're, you're like your film breakdown down and everything, the senior bowl and everything. But but you know what Marlon is? Yeah. Wait, time But you know what Marlon? Marlon is a slow defensive end, though. Yeah, but he can play three tech. Right, but he's a slow defensive end. AJ Epinesa can also play three tech. Yeah, that's why. Huh? I see Epinesa as a, as a three tech, not a DN. Sure. But you won't take him at 17, though. No, I won't take him. Man, man we about to fight with our hands <laughs> on the. Oh! It's when I, on sight. <laughs> Oh man, well, uh, I, I I appreciate you for the call, man. Salute, my guy. <laughs> Marlon Davidson literally plays stand up outside linebacker and three tech at two hundred and ninety pounds. <sighs> okay, now let me like the, the conference phone, has been locked. I get these last three calls in, then I promise I'm leaving now. I promise I'm leaving. Mississippi man, what's happening? Man, sound like you riding on the hood of the car, man. You good? I rolled up the one of mine. It was down in the belt, man. I got you, my guy. What you got for the show? Man, first of all, what's up, boss? Second of all, I'm going to leave. For everybody that's busy, hit the like. Yeah. Hit the subscribe. Hit Watching logos, there's going to be a section at the top, in the middle, that says videos. There you go. Go watch those and learn y'all something about football before y'all start talking about you don't want AJ Evan Nessel mm. at 17. Mm. Please go to bed because you obviously don't know what it's like to have a 6 foot 4, 280 pound man lined up in a three, tick, a three point stand right in front of your ass, Ooh. getting ready to maul the fuck out of you. You don't know what it's like. Yeah. You don't know what it's like. And I don't think up fans like that to go in. But for everybody who says, man, you want to speed rush. Well, let me tell you what. The Eagles like to run the ball. Sure. The Giants damn sure going to run the ball. Right. Those 240-pound guys who run these four fives, they run like receivers. Mm. When it's time to play Smash Mouth football, they're going to get eight of line. Mm. They're going to get eight up. A la the Patriots versus the Chargers the last time they played in the playoffs. Mm. Melvin Ingram got his ass eight the fuck up. Right. They support his ass all night. Hell yeah. Yep. You, want, you want a guy that can do both. You want a guy that can do both. That's what you want. You want a guy that can win. Against the run, you want a guy that can pass. If you got one of the other, that guy is lacking. Right. That guy is lacking. Right. Anyway, what my last thought is, I'm actually a cowboy hater, but I want I want the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl because they disrespect my boy Dak to some other fucking way. That's man. all I got, man. That's I'll let y'all. Awesome. <laughs> Yo, man, if somebody see you riding on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey man. Hey, see, Willis ride rough, big dog. That's all I gotta say. I got <laughs> you, man. ain't no Cadillac. Hey man, <laughs> get your money, though, player. Appreciate you. Be safe, dog. Yes, sir. Salute. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Why is he on the bus like? Smoking weed and feeling fine in my lack bill 79. Ah, last call for the night. I promise you. Let's see what we're talking about. What up, Terrence? What up? What up? What up, man? Everything good, my guy. What you got for the show? All right, that's what's up, man. I just want to say this real quick, man. All right. I just want to let you know, man. Right. I definitely been looking at a lot of the films, okay. a lot of your films, okay. and definitely looking at these mock drafts. And I did my own mock draft. Right. It definitely looking like a good possibility that we're gonna be looking at like some great receivers that's going to be on the board okay. facing us right now. Talk like, to him. At 17. Talk to him. And um, Let him know. it's definitely look like it's a good possibility that Jared Judy might be looking at us. <laughs> it's a great possibility that City Lamb going to be looking at us. All right. So, and then it was still also Grant Delpit was still ranked up, like, at least a little bit under them. All so, right. uh, with two two great receivers up to the top, I see what you're saying now, uh, Vouch, and also Vouch. this too. It's looked like we've been paying a lot of big money to that Prescott. So, 
if I'm paying all this money to Dak Prescott, I definitely want him to put up big numbers. And that's what me and my coworker was talking about uh, the other day about this. Okay. So, yes, definitely, definitely. If I got Jared Judy still on the board and C.D. Lamb, yeah. uh, I can't pass up on that at all. But my favorite as for wide receiver three, I love Jared Judy. Mm. Mm. Hey, man. Both of them J- are great route runners, yeah. but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. real fast, so real fast and, like, real quick with it, so. Sure. I like Jared Judy a little bit more better for me. Just my favorite. Better than CeeDee Lamb? Uh, I won't say better, but, uh, but I, you know, I like CeeDee Lamb too as well. But, you know, I just like quick. I wasn't going to attack you. I, I, I wasn't going to attack you, man. I was just asking, dog. That's cool if you like Jared. Yeah, I know. I know. I, know. I think, um, I know, right? but I just, you know, I think Jerry, I'm just a real fast guy. I think Jerry probably gets, gets drafted over CeeDee Lamb. And I think that's, you know, that's good for us. Cool. Take him. Take, uh-huh. take, 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 right. take Jerry Judy. I, hey, I want. Have you, have you also looked at uh, Jalen, uh, Jalen Rager? Jalen Rager, I have absolutely, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. He's pretty good too. Jalen uh, Rager, Jalen, Jalen Rager uh, compares more to uh, to what you get with rugs, but I think Jalen put some weight on to kind of be a little more durable mm-hmm. for the league, and it kind of it kind of slowed his forty down a little bit. Um, you yeah, know, you know, but that's you know that's fine. That just is what that is, though. Uh, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't. Hey, man, listen, man. I don't hate Jared Judah, but if you vouch for him, I vouch for him. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all, it's all good. Yeah. Um, what else you got for the show? All right. What else? What else? What else? Okay, right. that's it. That's all you got, man. All right, man. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I appreciate you, man. Just uh, <laughs> why you call me vouch, dog? Where that come from? <laughs> Where that come from? <laughs> vouch, man. Vouch Lombardi, man. No, it's not. I say my name in every video. Every live stream, I say my name. I don't say no vouch. Where they come from? What do y'all do? Voucho. Voucho, man. All right, uh, no, don't, don't call me Voucho. I'm, I'm hanging up on you. All right, holla at you, Terrence. <laughs> All right. <laughs> y'all ass is getting comfortable, boy. Do y'all call Brett Coleman out his name when he do live streams? <laughs> y'all call Mel Kuyper Mello when y'all tune in, tune in to Mel Kuyper's live streams? Do Law Nation get this treatment? fuck going on right here? what are y'all doing ah great show listen man let me tell y'all something some shows is good some shows just cool this was a great show chat box did fantastic clap it up for yourself chat box um the uh the 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 calls were fantastic tonight i was on my game a little bit man so hey man this this was one of the ones man this was man let me give y'all a little war call just to reward y'all for the vibes let me run it back. I was I was at the end. Run it back. There we go. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, so I got some people that's listening right now live. I haven't announced this fully yet. I'm gonna do it soon, but I'm gonna be doing a live watch along with the draft or whatnot. I know a lot of other cowboy YouTubes are gonna be doing it as well, but. Hey man, I'm Vach, man. What you you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. <laughs> it's my time of year. I'm Vach. What are we doing? You know what I'm saying? So um I'll be doing the reactions. I'll be doing live commentary. I'll be breaking down every single player. Last year I was able to break down everybody except for nine guys. And it was like people was drafting punters and kickers and fullbacks and shit. So I wasn't very, you know, savvy up on them. Uh, but everybody else, man, I was, I was good to go, man. I was good to go. So uh, I appreciate everybody. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. The show was fantastic. It was amazing, man. It was very fun. And uh, shit, man, y'all know when we, you know, when we in these uh, these uh, trying times in the world, we kind of going through whatever it is that we going through. Um, you know, you know, we 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 need football. We need fellowship. We need brother and sisterhood. You know what I mean? Y'all like this video and all that? Hold it down for the Doski Woski and the Peaski Weeski, man. Peace. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. Not yet. Time out. Wait a minute. I am Sheet Dog. Drop 10 in the super chat. Hold on. He dropped 10 in the super chat. Uh, y'all stop messing up Profe- <laughs> Professor Vice Lombardi tonight. All right, cool. Appreciate- and you also hit me with a uh, super chat earlier, too. I'm bugging. Let me shout out my super chatters, dog. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. I'm bugging. Hold on. I am Sheepdog45, Sports Guru 80, uh, Twan, Jonas Jensen, 
Cam, Adrian, Lindsay. Also show some love in the super chat. Jay Colbreth. Colbreth. And um, Adrian, Lindsay again. Shouts out to y'all. And Ivory Celeste ask y'all to send me a $100 super chat so I can send to her. So um, that's that. Now I'm leaving because the super chat kept me here. So now I'm going. Now y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski, the Pisky Whiskey. That's an inside joke for us for the rest of the year, man. Jalen jokes at slide receiver. That's hilarious. Um, all right. Peace, y'all. I'm going now. Holla. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Prince Neo dropped dropped a deuce in the super chat. Wait a minute, Prince Neo 22. He dropped a deuce. Hey, Robbie Raffer dropped five in the super chat, so I'm not leaving. I'm shouting y'all out as well. Prince Neo said, this is a rebuild year. Hey, Prince Neo, salute to you. I do agree. We rebuilding, but we're going to rebuild to the damn Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Also, uh, Robbie dropped five in the super chat. Much respect. Y'all already know. Robbie, appreciate that respect, man. Reciprocate. We are reciprocating respect. You know what I mean? Now, let me minimize everything. And I pull up OBS. And I put my mouse over on stop recording because I'm going to stop the live stream at this point. I'm going to stop the live stream on one. I'm going to stop the live stream on. Drummer Cam says, can't wait to see Randy back in that. I tell you what, man, Randy Gregory is the only defensive end that can roll off the couch and be the best defensive end on our team, man. Uh, whenever we get the full reinstatement news, I'm actually going to do a Randy Gregory film session. Because I look back, man, I tell you what, Randy Gregory ain't have all the sacks in the world, but Randy Gregory had like 28 quarterback hits. That is crazy. 28 quarterback hits, dog. Man, y'all already know how I feel about my son, Randy Gregory, dog. Randy, he going to be all right, man. Appreciate Drummer, Drummer Cam coming back, dropping a deuce in the super chat. And Mr. Wright dropped another deuce in the super chat as well. He ain't even dropped no question. Mr. Wright ain't even dropped no question. He did it off the strength. He, he So I, I need something to talk about, Mr. Wright. We're just going to talk about his vest and his shirt and his tie. Look at how he tied that Windsor knot. Look at the angle he's holding the phone. Look at how that elbow is pointing downward. Shots out to me. Nene dropped a deuce in the super chat. Wait a Oh, CC. Oh. Y'all just trying to keep. I got to address y'all one at a time. Stop it. Wait a minute. I got to address y'all one at a time. Nene dropped two in the super chat. You thought <laughs> Nene just don't want me to stop working. Uh, Nene Ivory came by early and asked me if I had a girlfriend. I said, yes. Yeah, so you know how that go. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, hey, you know, hey, man, Nene might like you too. Uh, ZC dropped the deuce in the super chat as well. He says, hold up. <laughs> ZC wants to keep, uh, I forgot the name of the things. What what the what these 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 little garden gnomes in his in his profile pic? Forgot the name of them. I forgot the name of the little gnomes and the uh I forgot. But anyway, <laughs> off the strength of my half of my half wins or not. Hey man, you gotta learn how to tie them joints, man. You you go around over the top, through the loop, through the loop again, and then you gotta tuck it down. You know what I'm saying? That you know. Shouts out to the half Windsors out there. Okay. I'm leaving now. Closing everything. Shutting down the internet. Shutting down the phones. I'm just scrolling back over to OBS. Slide that Nene might you like then. <laughs> you ain't slick. <laughs> hey man, she might. She, you know, Nene might like her, whatever. But uh, let me just go on over here. Scroll back. <laughs> let me just... uh. All right, y'all. This was fun. Shouts out to everybody in the Super Chat, everybody that came through at the end, everybody that came through earlier, all the calls, all the healthcare workers, all the people delivering groceries, all the people that's working at the grocery store, all the people that's cleaning up, all the people that's holding it down, all the people that's, you know what I'm saying? And all the people that's quarantined. I'm about to hit stop streaming. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. 
and the Pisky Whiskey. <laughs> Next time I'm doing a, a, a draft show, we're going to uh, watch the film live. All right, that's it, y'all. Peace. I'm gone. I'm leaving. Bye.